It's a muggy morning in Manila. Not to give us an affirmative answer, but to actually get the container out. But this group of Edmontonians is yet to wake up from a bureaucratic nightmare. The container with all the donations is stuck in Filipino customs. If it doesn't get cleared um, and there's going to be a, too long of a delay, then we will actually ship the container back to Canada and we'll find another country to put the container in, or the playground in. So 20 volunteers all taking vacation time from their jobs and paying to fly halfway around the world are here for a playground project, minus the playground. A couple of you guys I'd walk through on the layout and getting it laid out so we could start it. Let's just say they do things differently in the Philippines. This is a developing country. This is not Canada. But some members of the group, including MLA Thomas Lukasik, head to the next best thing, the Canadian Embassy. And within hours, good news. We're on our way to Verona right now. Apparently the shipment got stuck at the port. There was some problem at customs, but now the Canadian Embassy stepped in and the playground is where it's supposed to be and that's where we're going right now to set it up. Hi! We have a two by four, let's grab a level. Pull your posts out of the hole. Right away, work starts. Under a crowded flagpole, under the burning sun. The heat gets to you, it's not even noon yet. We've been working for a few hours and everybody's exhausted, not because of the work, but because of the heat. The volunteers build, the kids play with leftover string. They can't afford toys. But in just a few days, on a fallow field, there will soon be a field of dreams. The feeling of the people, they're, they have so little but they're so willing to help, um, and they're so happy with what they've got. And they don't have much. At GK Edmonton Friends Village, 40 families live here in brightly colored concrete homes. It's kind of like a Habitat for Humanity project. The poorest of the poor, all squatters, put in sweat equity to build their home and their neighbor's home. On this day, the red carpet is laid out for GK's founder, Tony Mulatto. He started with one village, now there are thousands. They're landless, homeless, and oftentimes hungry. And now they have this uh, middle class community. But this is no middle class like we've seen. I'm poor, so I can buy anything. Luz Pangugan has a TV, but not much else. Luz, her husband, and four kids, including little Erickson, live in about 200 square feet. This is my kitchen. She cooks on a wood stove, no refrigeration. Her prized possession, a rooster used in cockfights. The families have a plot to grow food. What they don't eat, they sell. And no indoor plumbing here. Villagers must go to this pump to collect shallow well water. They also go there to bathe and to do laundry. Ah, I like that. But thanks to donations from Edmontonians, a deeper well is being drilled. A water tank will go up, it'll hold water, and it'll be pumped to their homes. So with uh, running water in their homes and sewer systems for them, they will uh, no longer have to be pumping water for themselves. At the playground, Edmontonians are working side by side with the villagers. The Filipinos are doing the heavy lifting, making a huge difference. Yeah, I thought it was going to take us about a week and it only took us about three and a half days. <laughs> that just means there's more time for this, the first soccer game ever for these kids. Basketball is the game in the Philippines, but they seem to enjoy this. I would like to win. Really, the future of the village lies here with the kids. Luz knows her four probably won't go to college. I have no money, I have no work, I have no job, so she can go to farm to planting rice like that. But this playground will have an impact. They don't have to leave the community and uh, be vulnerable to a lot of uh, bad things that can happen outside. They experience now how to play the playground. We, we didn't experience before we are kids. How this experience affects Castle Downs volunteers and why it was so hard to leave, that's tomorrow. It's really neat. Um, words just don't describe. And I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs>